Uh, thank you, whoever sent the box. Oh, it looks like some. Oh, that's cool. Some water stuff, so you can, so you can take one. So that way I can give some to somebody else, you know, show the love. Yeah. So whoever sent this box, there was no name in it, so I don't know who you are, but thank you very much for thinking about these guys out here. Mm -hmm. really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sierra from the last interview. So what's going on, Sierra? How you doing today? Same. Good, same stuff, doing good. It's just hot as hell now. So what's been going on with you out here in Kensington? Are you still, you know, having a hard time with the addiction? Yeah. It's gotten worse. Why do you say that? Because I got some PUA money. So you got some what money? PUA money. All right. Uh, I spent a lot of money in a very short amount of time. How much do you spend daily on buying drugs? Probably $500. That's a lot of money, right? Imagine if you were saving that money, how yeah. rich you would be at the end of the year. Yeah, I So what's your biggest challenge right now as far as getting clean? Sickness. So how bad is it? It's horrible. You can die from fentanyl withdrawal. Wow. That's why they give you subs and stuff in jail now, because people are dying. I notice a lot of people are also breaking out from the new fentanyl that they got out here. Have you have you experienced any breakout? Like this stuff? Uh, yes. And what's you think the cause of that is? It's all this cut. They say it's crocodile. It's not crocodile, it's just a cut and I sense it's skin if I miss even a couple of units of it. It's fucked up. So are you concerned with what you're putting in your body due to the fact these guys are like, you know, cutting you so you don't know what? I mean, not really anymore. Do you keep in touch with your family? No. So how's your daughter doing? I don't know. I what? don't speak to any of my family. Is there a reason why? Because they don't deserve to see me like this. Understood. You they ever? like come down and try and find me. And mm -hmm. Like the one day I was sitting there on the Ave. My friend was hitting me and I hear, you can do better. I look over with my sister and my brother-in-law. Yeah, I've gone held to my head. I've been choked till I passed out. I've been held hostage. I got kidnapped, basically. I woke up in Virginia. I stayed with a pimp down in fucking Florida. I made all the way to Florida with my sugar daddy. He had a pony on a plane home. I had to go from, I went from 8 in the morning till... Well, I landed in Atlantic City at 11.30 at night with no dope. I was literally on like the emergency exit as we were landing, like puking on the plane. I passed out because I did dope and he just drove, drove. He held me hostage by like my addiction, so. It's horrible. Yeah. So how do you end up getting home? My sugar daddy, he uh, I ran away called him, he got me over from the 7 I was at to the airport and got me a plane ticket. I had to go through the USA, uh, TSA interview and everything like that, because I didn't have an ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one, one wrong question now, I've been stuck in Florida. So do you ever think you'll give up this lifestyle one day? Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, here we go guys, we out here, but I'm about to read some of Sierra comments to her. 
So this first person, Sierra, they said, the first person, their name is Sweet. Can you can you read a person's name and read their comments? Yeah, the Sweetie Diaries. And said, oh, her birthday is on Monday. How can I get something? You can contact him. Tiania? Tiania? I don't know how to say that. It's okay. Tiania. <laughs> oh no! I'm praying for you, life. And live strength, break the addiction, come back. You're such a beautiful young lady that I see you can overcome. God bless you. Thank you. I'm still waiting. Waiting for the answers to the universe Waiting for someone to wake me up Tell me that this is all just a dream I'm still waiting Waiting for a different sign Waiting for someone to take me away Get these thoughts off my mind Just for you to give an introduction of who you are and how you ended up in Kensington. <laughs> what ended up in Kensington? No, sometimes I'm curious. How do you